day 15 post op. Um, for some reason this morning, I haven't produced that much um, fluid. Mm, so, don't know what to say about that. Um, this is how I'm looking this morning. And the fluid amount, it's still here. I mean, you can still see the little pocket over here. It's reduced a little. But that's what I'm looking like this morning. As you can see, I'm still like um, up on my pillows, but I didn't sleep this high. I just got out of bed to pee. Um, it is 3.20 a.m. and I'm up for the day. I talked to the masseuse yesterday and she said that um, I was asking her if this hardness is going to turn into fibrosis because I'm trying to avoid that going to her as often as I am and she said it takes months for um, fibrosis to be formed. And I'm like, good, because prevention is better than cure for me. Um, and she said, yeah, uh, just continue moving around and um, eating an anti-inflammatory diet. When she was massaging me, I'm like, oh, I, can f I can feel that. She's like, pressure? And I'm like, no, I can feel your fingers. So... I'm excited that there's feeling coming back already, which is sooner than I expected. But I was thinking maybe six months down the line, not two weeks. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'll lay here for a little bit and I'll move, move the fluid over to the drain area. I'm taking the paper off also while I lay here so it can get some air. And I'm starting to like softly massage it um, a little. And just doing my massages this morning, truthfully. I'm gonna clean my navel. It's looking really good. Um, yeah. I'm not sure exactly how to get that stitch out, so I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Because as far as I understand, the stitches are supposed to be dissolvable. Um, I did see down on my pubic area, which has gotten better actually. It doesn't feel as sensitive. Remember the two areas um, here and here that seemed like they were like maybe turning into a keloid. Um, I don't want to show too much. So right here, it's not sensitive at all. And over here, oh my gosh, not sensitive at all. And the scar itself feels much better, much drier. Um, not sensitive at all which I'm quite happy about. You can see the fluid moving in the tube as I breathe and massage. Okay, just wanted you to know and what I was doing was just pressing down, not too hard, towards the drain while doing belly breaths. I know I had skin, I had muscle tighten underneath. Um, <clears throat> I had muscle tightening underneath, so breathing into my belly is a little bit of a challenge, but I do the best that I can while doing this motion right here towards the tube. With both hands, so I like cup here and then my next hand will be cupping here. And I'm just keep massaging down while I'm doing my belly breaths. 
So I try to do that as best as I can while doing this and pushing the... So I'm getting it out of my body systemically and then I'm trying to get the fluid out of my body through my tube. So just hey, wanted to show you. This is still day 15. Wanted to show you what I look like. All right, I just took my binder off because I'm about to clean my drain. Yep, that beezer is still in there. But you can see I am flat. I'm going for my walk. I'm so excited. I love my walks. There's nothing like it. Anyway, still day 15. I'm looking, me looking nice, me look nice. Yeah, I'm gonna look nice. I'm gonna look nice. Hi, it's me again. It's still day 15. It's 3.15 in the afternoon. We just got home from my long walk. Um, And I just had lunch. And... I produced a lot of fluid today. It's day 15 and I'm still producing a lot of fluid. I'm sitting here massaging my tummy and still pushing out fluid. Um, hmm. Truthfully, I'm getting a little discouraged with this drain situation because I want it out. <laughs> I want it out and I am producing a lot of fluid still. No one talks about this. Has anybody experienced still producing so much fluid on day 15? Really? Um, I don't feel bloated or anything. I know I am a little swollen compared to this morning, but I think I'm fine. My tummy is a little tight because I did a lot of walking. My legs are so sore. Um, but that's about it. That's my update for today. If I don't get back to you tonight, I hope you enjoy your evening. And I hope today um, helps as part of my vlog tummy tug journey. And I hope it inspires or helps someone. Um, I'm sharing what I'm doing just so I don't forget anything um, to help myself in this healing process. Um, I do still have fluid. If you can see, there's like a large pocket right here. All of this is like, that's my ribs. This is a little hard, but there's a little space right here. And when I push it, you can see it over here. Let's see if you can see it. You see it? You see it right there? So I definitely have a area, two areas where there's fluid that I'm keeping compression on. I just don't know. Anyway, frustrated. I'm resting right now. And yeah, you could tell right, right to the bottom here. I'm a little bloated, but outside of that, I'm fine. It's the end of the day. It's just normal. I'm not stressing over it. Anyway, it was 40 degrees all day, but that walk was so beautiful. I love walking along the water. It's so resetting. I feel so good right now. But yeah, I got my little bio oil right here. And I'm going to start like massaging my tummy a little bit more. I'm pushing out the fluid and I showed you how I'm push, how I push out the fluid this morning so I'm doing that again this evening before I start massaging everything else I want to move the excess fluid out of my way and watching my elementary TV show while my daughter do some she's doing some studying down there um, and my living room is a mess because the kids had like some kind of slumber party last night when I went to bed early and my son didn't move his laundry from the laundry room so yeah I'm not stressing myself out. It'll, they'll clean it up and I'll be fine. And I'm getting tired because in two-ish hours, I'm probably gonna be in bed. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I guess I'll see you guys on day 16 if I don't come in to say goodnight.